Many people will say that over the last decade or so, London has seen great success um, and, has, and has seen a, you know, the, it's clearly been the driving force in the UK economy. What would you say the role of the GLA and the London Assembly has been in, in, in helping to drive that? It has been absolutely crucial. There's, uh, there's no way, I think, that um, we would have had, um, whether it was the, the Olympics or, um, or, or Crossrail or the, 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 the London Overground, the transport improvements that we've seen that have really made a difference to this city. There's no way on earth that we could have had those things without a strategic city-wide government speaking up for, uh, for London, making the case for London, acting in the interests of Londoners. We simply couldn't have got there. How do you think the capital can do more to provide both the scale and, and the types of housing that are needed over the years to come? Well, we absolutely do need serious investment in, um, in, in housing, particularly in affordable and social housing. If we don't get that, then we're not going to have a city that, um, that meets the needs of ordinary Londoners and, uh, and, and the, the growing number of, uh, uh, of people who are choosing to live here. What we need is, um, is a, a real programme to invest in social and affordable housing. We need to get that, uh, we need to get that uh, moving. And without serious investment and without being able to raise the funds needed um, for that, we're simply not going to be able to accommodate the growing city. If there was one thing that the next government should prioritise in terms of empowering London government, to drive growth in the future, what, what would you say that would be? The one thing I would say is for the government to look at the, uh, at the proposal that's come forward from the London Finance Commission for fiscal devolution for London and other cities as well. I'd like to see other cities take on, uh, uh, take on that, uh, that role as well. But if we, if we had the, uh, the, the mayor and the local authorities and the assembly in London having a proper say over, um, over council tax and banding, over, over collection of business rates and, um, and, and property taxes like stamp duty and so on, if we had full control of that on behalf of London as collected that, we could really start to make a difference and, and really start to shape our own destiny as a city rather than having to go cap in hand to government every time there's a new project that needs funding.